Bruised and wary, the Silent Hunters were all too eager to collect their reward and return home once more. Alas, the route to their fortress was too dangerous to cross without rest and thorough preparation. After fetching Brendan's sons, they sought lodgings in the nearby Etrurian city of Chestershire. Though they found the place anything but restful, forges burned late into the night, tailors fought bitterly over the prices of rare dice, and no stable had room. From wall to wall, Chestershire was boiling with war folk at work. The hunters shared open smiles. For a mercenary band, these early signs of war were, finding f were like finding flakes of gold in the mud. Tasking her employees with securing the supplies and gathering information, Elsa found herself some quiet and took time to work on the demanding budget of her beloved company. The peace was not fated to last, but she did not truly expect it to. She could only hope that what followed would be for the good of the band's fortunes. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Minx, and I welcome you guys back to Let's Play Fire Emblem 7X Immortal Sword, this time for Chapter 4, which is called Tyrant's Quip. Finally, we get a we get a chapter that doesn't start with uh, happy music. How do we sp spend so much on repairs? I've re replaced that same window three times now. Maybe I should talk to Brendan about sending his boys to a boarding house. <sighs> you may enter, stranger. I've just about finished here. <laughs> wow, I, <laughs> that guy looks pleasant. My apologies for the intrusion. I assume that address of the that I addressed the esteemed force commander Elsa of Beggars Valley. Assume all you like. What do you want? Ahem. Then, to the honor of all present, I introduce Archduke Solomon of the Volk, great general of the Divine Throne of Etruria and all her peers, war horse of the North, and salvation of the foreign generation of the Kingdom of Etruria. Wow, look at this guy. Esteemed bearer of the Charity Standard and the champion of the First Realm, son of Isingir, the Worth, the Wrath, last scion. You look well, my lord. As do thou, Commander. It has been some time, has it not? Three summers and three winters, three years of lackwits and fools. I have strongly yearned to once more deal with someone of worthy caliber. I cannot deny that I have been working on the p pittance and the p promises for these last few seasons, but my team feels very strongly about our previous engagement. I am uncertain that I could convince them to work for you once again. I assure you circumstances have changed. In those bygone days, I was a rabid beast, desperately clawing my way up the ladder. I admit, I considered anyone and everyone to be expendable in my search for greater power. Now, however, I am in a position of utmost authority. My every decision carries the responsibility of serving the interests of the kingdom at large. I can make no petty power plays or gambles any longer. I su suppose congratulations are in order. That is very kind of you, so what say you? Will you hear me out? I see no harm in that. Hmm. Ah, oh, there we go. I was waiting for that theme to show up. Ah, the feel of cobblestone beneath ya, the sound of wagons and feet, the murmur of a hundred unhappy merchants trying to screw each other out of half a coin. How are the boys coping, Bren? We spent many months on the road before Elisa took us in. They're well accustomed to the stresses of travel. Perhaps a little too well. What? It seems young Lloyd is playing distraction while Linus helps himself to some treats. Oh, by the gods, excuse me, ladies. Oh, I hope we get to play as them, that'd be great. Like Lloyd and Linus as young mercenaries and Myrmidons, that'd be great. I don't suppose you had a hand in this caper, Mel. Me? Never. I'm entirely innocent. I've been too busy shopping to get up into any mischief. Alright, but whenever did you find coin? When we were in Cadillac, I had to pay for your room. Hooked an heirloom. Hmm. Melanie, fetch Brendan. Guess the fun's over, huh? What's happening, boss? We have work. What sort? The kind that p p p pays extremely well. Which means it's probably dirty. Who's the client? You're better off not knowing. Elsa. I've no patience for your moral indigation today, Brendan. Yes, it's secreted. Yes, it's for the sake of some aristocrats' conspiracy. The targets are like the innocence of wrongdoing, but it pays in cold, hard Detrurian gold. And we are not in a p p position to be finicky. The winter's months are coming upon us, and it's likely we won't be seeing any more work until their end. We need to be realistic. So that's that, then. No argument? You are welcome to leave. I will cut you a p piece of the treasury and give you an excellent recommendation. That won't be necessary. I got a maid who can watch after the boys. Oh, they're... I see, they're young. Well, that's, ador that's adorable. Hey, they're green units. What? Tristan? Oh my god, are they pulling a... They're fucking pulling a Radiant Dawn on us, aren't they? Wow, they're taking so much inspiration from the Tellius games. Are we gonna have to fight these guys? That'd be great. What a hectic week this has been. Ever since we landed, we've been hounded as fugitives with no rest. 
It's because of that blast at Fargus. He was up to something illegal, I'm sure of it. It seems that way. But if we can convince this friend of yours of our innocence, then perhaps all is not lost. He was our mayor for a time. He should be able to pull some strings. So long as we promise not to make any further troubles for the government. Tch. <laughs> it's like nothing more than to put this wickedness behind me. Oh, I'd like nothing more. If I cannot deliver this prophecy, such petty crimes will be the least of their concerns. Triss! Reno, what is it? I feel... What is it? How well do you trust this friend of yours? Little enough that I've hired some extra muscle, why? Reno may be paranoid, but he doesn't come forward unless he has a good reason. He says armed folk are approaching. Could be nothing, but... We're in no position to be taking chances. I hear you. Let's move. Oh, we're doing a PvP. Awesome. I love it. So we're gonna have to fight those guys now. That's pretty cool. I like it. This is they? Aye, that's them. A queer pair. That is Eilernor and his friend. There's no mistaking them. Very well. Take your coin and make yourself scarce. We've work to do. Good riddance, if you ask me. Anyone who opposes the Archduke is an enemy to me and mine. You tell him I said that. Ahem. Good day. Alright. Did he say the Archduke? Tell me, we're not working for that terror. Must we go over this again? Get in get information, Brendan. Oh, they really don't like the Archduke. Boss. Ah, Brother William, did you find your bishop? No, not as of yet. The local bishop said she was staying in this district. Well, we're about to turn this p place upside down. Were you, uh, were you to offer us in your... Sure, <laughs> I'm the one stuttering now. Were you to offer your assistance, we could be done sooner. I suppose. Besides, there's every chance uh, she might get caught up in the fighting. Jesus Christ, these Facebook notifications are fucking annoying me. I'm gonna block them. There we go. Oh, careful. I don't want to close them completely, I just want to block them. Might get caught up in the fighting, it would be better if you were, as, were with us to p point her out. Yes, that makes sense. Good, fall in then. Alright. Looks like your friend was on the money, let's give these folk a warm welcome. Do we have an escape route already? Aye, but I don't think we'll be needing it. Don't be so sure, Commander. Alright, cool. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm actually gonna turn animations onto player face only. A lot of people have said that I could possibly be doing this to speed things up a little bit. I think having animations on player face, but having map animations on enemy face is actually a nice compromise. I like having animations, but I don't like to watch them all the fucking time. Anyway, let's check out, do we, oh, we don't get Lloyd and Linus, they're too young to fight, I guess. So yeah, look at this map. Also, again, this is another normal mode map, since hard mode is not enabled for this one. Ah, it's Shen and Greg. God, not Grado, Gado. And we got Celeste, we got uh, Tristan is here, Reno, oh I love this, this is really cool. This is really cool. And you can visit houses here, that's pretty cool. Man, oh I love this too, look at this, barrels. This is, this is so good, adding terrain like this really, really is amazing. I love it when uh, Fire Emblem Games does this. Look at this, this is so cool. Anyway, uh, let's see if we can start by killing some dudes. Wow, Brendan is not fast enough to double anyone, is he? But maybe um, Sephir can? Sephir can, but... All right, I think I wanna get rid of the... Wow, look at that, Brendan one-shots the Myrmidon. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, isn't... Number two animations. Oh! Wait, what? That doesn't make any sense. Huh? Wait, what? <laughs> show animations on the player turn. Okay. They're on player turn. Why didn't they show? That's kind of weird. Huh? Okay, I guess it's bugged. It's kind of weird. Alright. Um. Okay, what if we set animations to two then? How will that work? Okay, now it works. Wow, look at the crit rate of Sephir. Holy shit, she's insane. But doesn't that mean that I'll be forced to watch healing animations? Yep, it, it does. I guess you can't have everything. All right. There we go. I just really want to try it out, because I've been meaning to do so for a while now. Um, Alright, can we kill this guy? Oh, wow. Your might is terrible. Holy shit. Guess we'll just try and um, protect the healer then, I suppose. Oh, wait! 
What? She can throw her swords? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, that is so cool. Oh, technically, I guess they're treated as daggers? I guess that's why they have- Ah, now I get it. That's why they have minus three might. It's because they're technically daggers when she uses them. And of course, they also display their hit rates and stuff. Oh my god, what they're trading for- Oh my god, they really love the Tellius games. Holy shit, they've implemented so many features. That is absolutely insane. So they're trading around vulneraries. I love it. That is so cool. Alright, let's heal uh, up uh, Sephir. It's really annoying how I can't select custom animations and not show healer animations if I want to have enemy face animations off. Kinda annoying, but hey. Anyway, oh my god, this is so cool. I love it. Well, I like my thief a lot better now, that's for sure. <sighs> uh, kinda left my healer on the front line. That's never a good thing, is it? We'll just put her here with the pike. And then I suppose we can put uh, Sephir here, kill this guy. I gotta remember to visit the houses as well. It's a bit difficult to see them, but I do believe... Is this a house? No, this is not a house, but this is a house. Oh, wait a minute. What the... Huh? Did I just... Did I miss... What? what? Did I miss this? Uh, did I, like, skip her dialogue or something? I do not... I did not recognize... It's Vida! The Wandering Draconite, defensive and mysterious. Wait, what? I think I might have accidentally cancelled her dialogue or something. Anyway, Vida's here. And she's not moving, apparently. Um... Interesting? Wow, that's not a good hit rate at all. I think I'm just gonna rely on my bow to kill this guy. So, how do I recruit Vida? Do I need to talk to her with my lord or something? I guess? Uh, I guess I could send uh, my thief over. I don't think a thief is some someone we should be sending in alone. I think I'm just gonna keep her here for now. Oh wait, I, I could have done the support. I just re realized. Could have done the support. Oh yeah, he still attacked William. Okay, let's uh, highlight our lord and see if she can talk. Yes, she can. Alright, so let's get her over there. I think, you know what? Let's just ferry her over. It's gonna be faster. Let's ferry her over. Mm, can we kill this guy? Maybe we can. I should have checked before I did this. That was kind of dumb. Anyway, Brendan is about to level up. Let us see. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, fuck. Man, that really sucks. Hey, I can visit this house. Is that in range? It's in range of the mage. But I can block the bishop. Hello, excuse me? I hope I'm not intruding. Who's there? Brother William from the MacLeod Cathedral. Oh wait, he has a custom dialogue? There's a battle out there and I wanted to be sure no bystanders were caught up in it. Brother! Oh, you're okay. Oh wait, is this the bishop he was talking about? Mother L, bless my heart, it's good to see you. You, you must have fought the worst. I was a little concerned, yes. The constable said that the situation was being handled. But... But I would tell... Oh, but would tell me nothing more, so... I waited. Lady Elisa and our silent hunters came to our aid. In return, I am presently helping her with another mission here in Chestershire. Would you like to assist us? Ah, of course, brother. I would be happy to. Splendid. Come along, then. Cool, we get a bishop. That's really cool. That's actually kind of cool. Uh, so she has a shine tome and a goddess icon. Can she use staves? Yes, she can, but she has E rank in staves. L, a holy warrior of fierce talent who is reluctant to lead. Decent basis, not fantastic for a level 1 promoted unit, but hey, it's a it's another unit. I'm certainly not gonna complain about that. Let's uh, check her out. She's got a cool uh, uh, face sprite. I like it. Right, so let us... Uh, maybe we can pull the mage or something? I think... Oh, cool. We got a talk conversation. You're fighting with us, eh, lass? I hope you're up to the task. We're a storied company with very high standards. T truly? I shall do nothing short of my best, I swear. Your best ha your, <laughs> your best had better be phenom phenomenal. Are you fond of songs, lass? Have you ever heard the day the tide stopped? Or the left or the theft of the hunter's heart? Uh, of course, those are the most daring tales I know. You don't mean... Aye, they're stories of the silent hunters. You see now how mighty a force you've joined? How great the burden is on ye. Saints, preserve me. Melanie, leave the poor girl alone. None of that is true. Oh. 
<laughs> You'll be fine, church mo mouse. Come along. <laughs> Man, I continue to develop a very, very strong liking to this lovely thief. She's so such a well-written character. I love it. Alright, so what do we got here? We got a lance cav and we got a uh, sword dude. I guess what we can do is we can uh, drop her off here. Wait. Oh, wait a minute. Does your movement get reduced when you carry people? Huh. Wait, wait a minute. What's this? Move plus two. Wait, wait, wait. What? It's only... Huh? Grants Canto and move plus two. Unless rescuing. Oh, that is so cool. But at the same time... Kind of sad that you that you get less movement when you get rescued, though. Hmm. Anyway, let's send Mage Killer Milani to kill this guy. That is such a cool animation, too. Having thieves being capable of throwing their swords actually makes them really useful. Anyway, uh, can we murder this guy? Yes, we can. But can Brendan kill this guy? Not quite. But I guess what I can do is I can do this. I mean, even if I miss, it's not the end of the world. As long as I kill the mage, we should be fine. Hey, ding. Let's see how Brendan's first level is. Wow, surprisingly good. That's actually pretty decent. Holy shit. She's not terribly... Wow, her resistance is not fantastic. Either that or the weapon triangle gives a lot of damage in this game, because 12 damage for a fire tome. I should probably calculate this, because I I am very um, convinced that, it's actually, that it actually matters a lot more than I think it does. Because 12 damage from a fire tome to a bishop, that sounds pretty insane. Although her resistance might be low? I don't know. We shall see. Well, Brendan uh, is not spectacular at hitting. I love how you can see the hit rates, though. Makes map animation so much more enjoyable. There we go. And hopefully I'll be able to recruit Vi- Oh, God, those guys are moving now. Uh, let's see if I can go recruit her. Should be able to. Identify yourself, Lizardkin. Do you stand with these misfits? Merely an observer. Observer from the skies, then. I'll not have, my have collateral on my conscience. Strange from a mercenary to be so concerned. What value is my life to you? All lives have value, even the likes of this criminal, Drek. Redemption is always p possible. You should strive for it. You truly believe that? I do, but it's not my p place to absolve them. I bring them a different form of absolution. And in this you feel you are serving a penance of your own? I suppose you could say that. Not often, but sometimes. Yes, I feel I am serving a greater p p purpose. Then allow me to serve as well. I am much to atone for. Very well. We could surely use the help. Just pr pr promise you will not do anything reckless. As you say. Cool. Oh, nice. She has refuge. That means I can, like, rescue myself on top of her, which is kind of cool. <laughs> uh, wow, Vida. Um, yeah, let's see if you can kill this guy. So she is a... She's a Draco Knight. That's cool. 43 hit points. Holy shit. That's some beastly hit points you got there, Vida. That's like, that's, I think that's, like, more than base Vida, isn't it? Ow, that's gonna kill me. Let's not do that. We can talk to Vita too, but I don't think I have a desire to do that. I think I'm just gonna... Do you have a Vulnerary on you? Oh, you have a Potion. That'll do. I can actually... Nah, I don't wanna... I don't wanna risk it. I know talk is free, but... I don't wanna risk it. Uh, what's this right here? This is a Witch with Slow? What the fuck is that? Temporarily reduces enemies' mobility. Oh, it's a free staff. Huh, how nice. Alright, we got two uh, guys coming in here. Gotta do something about that. You know, a crit would have been so nice. But I guess you can't have everything. Now, what I can do is I can block the choke point with Brendan. I should probably heal him up first. And then I can block the choke point. Maybe shoot the Sambato guy with a bow and then possibly trade his weapon around to an axe. If I do this. Yeah, I think that will probably do. You know, a hand axe would have been really good on Brandon. Because I imagine one of these guys got ranged weapons. Ooh, iron sword. Can give that to my thief. Uh, yeah, this guy's got a hatchet. Yeah, hatchet hand axe. Will, will she kill me or he'll kill me? Oh, no. Wow. Holy shit. She's good. 
Wow. Oh, you can trade us. Wait, can you seriously trade as many times as you want in this game? No, you can't. Thought you might be able to. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna troll, troll the sword at this guy. There we go. And of course, I also have a weapon triangle advantage, which helps me out. Oh, right, what? Oh, you get animations here for some reason. Interesting. Could I have done more if I had trained harder? Or are these folks just too skilled? Perhaps someday, for now, I must retreat. Of course, they gotta retreat. People always retreat. Oh, you're gonna get fucking wrecked. Oh, nice! That's a nice little kill for my Pegasus. Oh no, poison. I fucking hate poison. God damn it. Not poison. Ugh. Wow, 69. You don't got the greatest of skill there, Vida. Could also be that you're wielding a steel lance, but still. Uh, iron lance, that helps for sure. I guess what I can do... Okay, this guy's got a slow stop, but it seems like she's stationary. Yeah, it would be nice to heal this poison. Uh, poison deals like 5 damage in this game, so... It's actually sort of scary. Nice! Oh my god, Sephir's leveling up so well. I love it. Right. Let's visit this village, see what they say. Come in, come in! Are you- Oh my god, look at this woman, she looks great! Are you here to place an order? No, just want to look around? Well, I don't mind. I make conscious concoctions for various uses. I do some lubricants for the garrison to use in their wagons, glues for the craftsmen, and herbal remedies for everyone else. I'm working on an antitoxin right now. You should make it a point to keep one on you if you're going to be fighting a lot. Sooner or later, you're gonna run into someone wielding an abandoned weapon, and when you're struck with one of those, you're in a world of trouble. See? They don't do that much damage right away, but they afflict you with a poison status. So as long as it goes untreated or until it runs its course, you will take damage continuously. That's why you need one of these. You can't have this one, though. It's for someone else. I'll have time to make... Oh, you can't have this one. I'll have time to make another the day after, tomorrow, if you would like to place an order. Oh. What an asshole! I could have used that now! Aww. I could have used that! Wait, what? A nap? Something are, is very off with the animations. Seems like sometimes they're displaying, other times they're not. Could just be a bug with the code, I suppose. But I enjoy having these enemy face map animations. It's actually kind of cool. It's a nice change of pace. Anyway, uh, we're pretty close to the two bosses now. Oh my god, you can actually take cover from the well. I love it. That's so cool. Wait, yeah, this guy just doesn't show any his animations at all. I'm making tracks. Good luck, guys. <laughs> okay. All right, you know what I'm actually going to do here? I'm going to calculate. So... This guy does 25 damage in total, right? Um, and I have 6 resistance. So that, theoretically, should be... Uh, should be 19 damage. Let's see how much damage I actually take. Also, I should get this goddess icon, I don't even know. I should take 19, or with the old weapon triangle... He's doing 9 damage, holy shit, that's so little. Really? Man, that's insane. Brace! Melanie, fall in. Ugh, good. Advance. Huh? What? <laughs> hey, cool. I can put myself into Vida. <laughs> that's nice. Hey, you're not gonna slow me. So witches are like staff users only? Alright. I'm fine with this, I suppose. Still really want that antitoxin, though. Wait, so vibrance can... Vyverns can rescue without penalties? That's pretty OP. Huh. Yeah, it's really cool that you can rescue yourself. That is pretty amazing. Anyway, I want to check out this weapon triangle more. So, theoretically... Let's see how many bonus points of bonus damage you get here. So, theoretically, uh, I'm doing 15 damage with my Shine Tome. This mage has 7 resistance. So that should be 8 points of damage normally. But it's 5 damage now, so that means that the weapon triangle adds 3 points of damage? I guess? Something along those lines. I like that, actually. Having the weapon triangle affect damage severely. Oh, that is a really cool animation. Holy shit. So much m cool stuff they can do with this engine. I love it. Anyway, you're gonna get a sword in the face. Here you go. Sword in face. Have fun. 
I guess we can pull, um, see these guys, uh, how, how fast is this guy? 12 speed, he might be doubling me, nope, wait, he won't. Yep, this works, if we, um, place you here? Eh, take the, take the goddess icon. It's just two points of luck, who cares? Okay, so this guy does display animations. I don't know who hired you, but I hope they paid in advance. You'll need the coin to send your bodies back home. You're the one who's gonna go back, dude. <laughs> but yeah, I gotta get Sephir down there and heal her. Oh no, my slim lens broke. Hey, you little fuck. Not cool. Wow, now they're all charging. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm gonna die soon if I don't get healing. First, let's uh, kill this guy. Ooh, a horse slayer. Good thing I caught him. Well, I do have a potion, so maybe I should just use that. C rank. Nice. I mean, theoretically, if I can kill this guy with Vita. Oh, no, wait, I can't. Ugh, is that a fucking Wudao? Yikes. That's not good. Luckily, we got Brendan over here. Maybe we'll use Brendan to shoot down... Yeah, no, actually, he one-shots this guy. Yeah, I don't want to go up against that. Wudows are scary. But yeah, I'm probably gonna have to run from Tristan, though. Could probably, like, take refuge on the well or something. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I'll just place myself here. Problem is, that fucker's gonna re follow me around and heal. It's really fucking annoying. But, not a lot I can do about that. At least I get 10 avoidance from the well. That's really nice. Maybe I shouldn't pull both of the bosses? Probably not a terrible idea. Alright, good William. So I guess what I'll do now is I'll move up here. And I'll throw a sword at the guy. I think if I get him low enough, Vida might be able to kill him. And then I can maybe do a potion with Sephir or something. I probably need her down there to kill uh, Tristan. Good job, 16 speed. Wow, you are fast. Yep, there we go. Perfect. Master of exact damage. And time for Vida to level up. Let's see how what she gets. Hit points, skill, and luck. I'm fine with that. She has some issues hitting. Wow, she's slow though. She is slow. I think I'm just gonna spend this turn drinking a potion. Also, I got a lot of talk conversations that I should probably get done sooner rather than later. Nice! Good job. He's gonna get healed up again, though. God damn it! Alright, he's in range of Brendan, though. So I say we do this. And then maybe we can kill her off with Melanie. That'd be great. Let's see if she can do it. Uh, should be able to. Wow, it's so nice to have units with movement now. I love it. Oh, that's a crit. Ah, foolish mistake. Fall back, Dara. I got this covered. Are you sure? These are both mice, Tristan. I need- I just need to catch them and crush the life out of them. Well, I'll make you regret saying that. Alright, so now, uh... Can I kill- Oh wow, I need a- I need another lance. Maybe I can give the iron lance or something to her? Uh, have the iron lance. Maybe the- Nah, she can't use the steel lance. And I can, like... Rescue the thief, maybe? So she doesn't get- so he doesn't get hit? Yeah, maybe. Oh my god, wow. I love Sephir so much. <laughs> Light magic. That's cute. I you I should have shown out what I die. And weapon level increased to C. Alright, cool. Maybe we should even visit the shop. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I think I'm just gonna go visit this village. I don't know how you vets keep all this stuff straight. Between the triangles, weight, effectiveness, and supports, every time I battle, I feel completely overwhelmed. And I only just found out today about hit overflow. Do you know about this? It's when you swing, it's so accurate that you no longer need to conserve yourself with trying to land blows. Instead, can focus on placing them where it counts. 
In other words, it's easier to make critical blows when you troll assurance there that your attack will hit. Man, no wonder Lila's always beating me. I need to throw off his aim somehow. Okay, so... Okay, I get it. So when you have more than 100% hit, you get extra crit. That's a really cool mechanic. That makes skill a lot more useful. Solomon is famed for his great axe vendetta, right? With a weapon like that, he can move through the ranks. Mow through the ranks of a spear company because of the weapon triangle principle. Axes beat lances and all that. Well, our, our reaver weapon reverses the triangle, so this here lance is great against axes, but four against swords. What's more, it increases the effect of the triangle, making it even more effective against axes than even a sword is, but it is also twice as weak to swords. The same thing applies to bows too. A reaver has a greater advantage against an archer at close range than other weapons, but he's more vulnerable to them from afar. This makes it kind of a high-risk, high-reward weapon that must be treated with the utmost respect and care. Hopefully, I've explained it all well enough. Here, try it for yourself. Used in the right situation, it will fast become one of your more p most powerful tools. Thanks for explaining to me how Reaver weapons work. Always appreciate it. Alright, so now we just gotta pull the last brigade and we should probably be done. I will probably make a, a shortcut until we get there, because we got some movement to do. Alright, time to pull this mage. I think I'm just gonna do that with Seth here. Uh, I also stopped by the shop and I bought some... Um, light tomes and the like so uh let's do some talking i th oh no those guys had a conversation there's a lot of conversations here that i need to remember to do but you gotta initiate the conversations with the right people i also know there's some supports that i've missed out on anyway i think this will probably pull them all yeah it will wow doubling with javelins what a champ yeah there's uh yeah you need to talk to vita okay um, what if we use Vida to kill? No, that's not gonna work. What if we do this then? Yeah, this probably works. And then, uh, we can prob- if we heal up Saphir- Oh, Fine Lance, what is that? Fine Lance. Uh, okay, seems like- Is that just like a tier between steel and silver maybe? I don't know, I've seen these before, these C rank weapons. Might be, or maybe they are the silver weapons. I don't know. I swear I've seen silver weapons before in this game, so... Wouldn't really be Fire Emblem without the iconic silver weapons. Anyway, that's 12 damage from you, and third, that's fine, she can survive that. God, I love Sephir, I'm so glad I put a lot of experience into her. Also kind of cool, you can skip uh, animations with the Enter, just like in Shadow Dragon, if in case you don't want to be, be asked to watch it. So you can like, um... If you don't want to, you can do this, which I think is really cool. It's actually really cool. I love it. Oh wow, I think I'm probably gonna have to rely on a little little bit of shine magic here. Man, I love it. It's great. Perfect. Anyway, time to deal with the boss. Let's see if I can't trigger some of these tall conversations before I kill her. Alright, time for the spy hunter. Titan your form, maggot. Your face the, you face the steel jaws of the Grey Drake. Celeste the bitter blight. Come at me so carelessly you and you lose a limb. I think you're the one who's gonna lose some limbs, lady. Oh my god, that's... I actually wanted to do the talks. Pa, enough play. We'll dance again, Curse. You can count on it. Didn't intend for that to happen. Oh well. Guess we'll never see those conversations now. My bad, guys. Sorry. What rank will we get? Uh, that's an S rank. Whee! Love it. We must be worth a pretty penny. They're giving a lively, lively chase. What are we to do? We can't. We can lose him in the cobbler's run. Eh? It's an old district in poor repair, responsible for for ruining many pairs of boots. Gator and I spent some years here in our youth. We can show you the safest path. Sounds like it's worth a shot, Celeste. Let's do it. They're out of here, boss. Their wounds are too severe for them to get far. Get on their tail. On it. Brendan, I want you to speak with the captain of the guard. Tell him to close the city gates on the Archduke's order. So it's true then. We're working for him. You have your orders. Ma'am. As for you, Lizardkin. Vida. Glad to have you with us. You've skill with that sp spear and much sp spirit. It's more than queer for such a person to value their life so little. There is great evil within me too. It is for dark deeds that I lament and for they that I cure curse myself. Your history is of no concern to me, as long as you serve the hunters faithfully. You sp spoke of seeking redemption? I cannot offer that. What I offer is a new life, one built on what you do hereafter. I understand. I can remake myself in an image of my own design. Yes, this is worth fighting for. Good. Take to the skystone and pin down our quarry. 
Yes, ma'am. These must be truly evil folk to require such a thorough hunting. Not by my reckoning. If you give them the these p p petty criminals any slack, they dig deep and turn to rot. In time, they do just as much harm as any greater foe. That is what the silent hunters stand for. We pr provide the same thorough hunting for evils of any caliber. I am of the same mind, my lady. Oh, Brother William, don't you think the lady's cause is so very righteous? We should join them in their venture. We should think of our duties first, mother. We will, of course, remain with the commander until the hunt is completed. After then, who is to say? McLeod Fortress is yet occupied, and it may be some time before the land's rights are settled. We would welcome you both warmly. Mother Ella makes a fierce sight, sing slinging magic while crying those verses of your, uh, and your healing is sorely needed on jobs like these. We are in accord, then. We will speak of it more soon. Good evening, commander. Is it true what you said to Brennan, boss? That these folks are likely innocent? And what if they are? Will you put up your arms? I would certainly entertain second thoughts. You know I do not have the heart of a true Pegasus Knight to do her duty unflinching. You do know the heart- Oh, right! You do know- Wait, he's... No, no, wait, what? You know I do not have the heart of a true Pegasus Knight. Alright, that's what she said. Then perhaps it would be best if you did not ask this kind of question. Do not worry, our foe is charged and of conspiracy and espionage, and our hunt is sanctioned by a leader of the p p parliaments You cannot get more guiltless in a pursuit. Oh, good. I am glad. Thank you, Elsa. You have been good to me, and I am pleased to know my trust is well placed. Right. This was probably was the coolest map I've ever played up until this point. Really fucking great. Alright, and we got chapter 4X. I don't know if there's any guidance chapter requirements, but whatever I did, I probably got it. So, yeah. Hope you guys are enjoying. Uh, so far, give this uh, episode a like and a comment. If you did, and as always, my name is Menx. I shall see you guys again tomorrow. Bye-bye.